My name is Julie and I work with Accomplish Quilting. Today in this tutorial we'll talk about straight line quilting with the Innova quilting machine. One of the great things about um, how our machine is engineered, you can do stitch in the ditch um, and grid work often without using a ruler. So I'll bring up my thread. And the first thing I'm going to do is stitch in the ditch. This line, I want to stitch right over the top of it, pretending that that's um, a seam. Um, you can go as slow as, as you want to do stitch in the ditch, and you might want to raise up the uh, sensitivity a little bit so that we can go slow and still get a really quick response from our lightning stitch. And then I'm just stitching along at the speed that I want to, to maintain control. You may also want to lower your handles so that you can actually touch your quilt while you're stitching. It gives you maximum control. And I'll show you how we could make a grid. bit of grid work without using rulers or even any marking. A tool that's very useful, um, this one's from Quilter's Rule, it has notches in it that help you find the ditch. I like to use this um, when I'm doing stitch in the ditch if, and it also helps with diagonal lines. I'm going to go up here and then follow that diagonal line. I prefer to have the ruler behind the needles so I can see where I'm going. And then I lined up the notch with the seam line. And because my hopping foot has a quarter inch between the needle and the edge of the hopping foot, it's going right in into my ditch. Now If you want diagonal lines on your quilting, and there I've shown how, because you're using all the wheels together to do diagonal lines, you really do need to have the um, ruler in place. Another tool that we like is the Lion Tamer, which we sell at Accomplished Quilting. It allows you just to move the machine down a channel. You hold the tool in place and then just quilt right to your destination. And you can use these etched marks to keep your angles straight. You can also use it as a straight edge. You could use it to show a 45 degree angle. And there's lots of imaginative things you can do with these rulers.